Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to easily install Google Play on your Amazon Fire tablet. Now this works on the brand new 2020 Amazon Fire HD 8 and the HD 8 Plus. Along with installing Google Play, I'm also gonna show you how to disable the lock screen ads. We're gonna be able to change that wallpaper and I'm gonna show you how to install a custom launcher to make it look more like a real Android tablet instead of an Amazon Fire device. And this is actually really simple to do, but you'll need a Windows PC to do this. Yes, there are ways of installing Google Play without a PC. I've got a full video on that. I'll leave a link in the description. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it from your Windows PC with just a few mouse clicks. Now, before we jump right into it, we do have to enable USB debugging on our Amazon Fire tablet. And to do that, we'll have to enable developer options. So no matter what Amazon Fire device you're running, all we need to do to enable developer options is head to the settings menu we can do that from the very top here, little settings icon. And from the settings menu, we're gonna find device options, choose about fire tablet, and we're gonna tap on the serial number five or six times. And that's gonna enable developer options. So we'll back up one in our settings menu. We'll find developer options. We need to enable it from here. So make sure it's turned to on. We will have to verify that we want developer options on. And now we need to find USB debugging. We're just gonna go ahead and turn this on, and that's it. We can now move over to our Windows PC and get everything set up. All right, so we're now at our PC. We're actually gonna go ahead and plug in our USB cable to our PC with the newer models. It comes with a USB Type-C cable. We need to download Amazon Fire Toolbox 7.2. This is available on XDA. I'll leave a link in the description. The developer has done an amazing job with this. And there's a lot that this application can do for your Amazon Fire tablet. I would definitely recommend reading through all of this. There's some great information here. And as you can see right now, he doesn't have the 2020 Amazon Fire 8 or 8 Plus listed, but it is supported. And every one of these other tablets here is also supported. Gives you a quick rundown, but we're just gonna go ahead and download it. So I'm gonna grab the installer.exe. I'm gonna grab the latest version as of making this video at 7.2. Grab the first mirror, I'm going to go ahead and download it. It's an installer. Once it's finished downloading, we can actually show in folder. This will take us right to our download section. And we're going to double click on the installer. Go ahead and close all this down. It's going to ask me to install the Fire Toolbox. Choose Next, Install. And we can click Finish. This is going to run the Amazon Fire Toolbox. So what I'm gonna do now is actually grab my Fire tablet. As you can see, no device was detected because it's not plugged in yet. I'm gonna unlock the screen of my Amazon Fire tablet. I'm gonna plug in the USB cable. On the device itself, it's gonna ask us to allow USB debugging. I'm gonna choose Always Allow from this computer and then click OK. As you can see, it's already detected it for me. I'm gonna close this first page and here we are at the toolbox itself. So the first thing I wanna do is install Google Play. So I'm gonna go with the Google services. It's gonna ask me if I'm sure I wanna install this. Choose yes. It's gonna install the correct applications to my Amazon Fire tablet. Just give it a bit of time to install everything. It took about two minutes the first time I used it. It's finished installing. So it's finished installing Google Play and the services we need. You can uninstall them from here. You can clear data and cache for Play services, and you can also add a Google account, but I'm gonna do that on the device. Next thing we can do is the lock screen wallpaper. You can set it up for Amazon Prime Photos. It'll pull your Prime Photos for the lock screen wallpaper, or you can install Wall Changer, and they mentioned to use 4K images here, so you can download whatever you want online and add them to Wall Changer. I'm gonna go ahead and execute. I'm gonna let this finish installing. So we now have Google Play services. We have lock screen wallpapers, and there's a lot of other stuff in here. We can set up a custom launcher. Now, a lot of people don't like the launcher that's included. Personally, I don't like it either. So I'm gonna go with Nova Launcher. I'm gonna choose yes. It's gonna download it. It's gonna install Nova Launcher for me. I'm gonna to try to make this as much of an Android tablet as I can. We can manage everything Amazon. If you wanna disable everything Amazon, you can do it from here. 
automatic, or you can manually do it. There's a lot of stuff in here that you might want to run in the background, so I usually don't ever mess around with this. But what we've just done is install Google Play, we've got new lock screen wallpapers, and we have a custom launcher. I think that's good for right now, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the app down, and we'll move back over to my Amazon Fire 8 HD+. All right, so here it is. As you can see, we have that launcher that's been changed up. Really looks more like a true Android tablet. And if you want to change the lock screen wallpaper and the launcher wallpaper, you can go into Wall Launcher, which we installed through the Fire tool. You can choose whatever image you want. You can download them from online. Or if you just want to change the launcher wallpaper, long press on your home screen, and you got some built in with Nova Launcher. And Nova Launcher is highly customizable, so you can make it look like pretty much anything. We also have Google Play, which is the main draw to using Fire Tool. The first time you launch it, it might close on you. Just press it again. It'll come up with the updated version of Google Play. You have to sign in just like you would with any other Android device. And once you've done that, you'll now have access to Google Play on your Amazon Fire tablet. And I use this on all of my Amazon Fire tablets because it just makes it much easier to use. I don't want to have to sideload apps and things like that. So Google Play installed on these really makes it feel like a whole new tablet. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching and hope you have at least Google Play installed. You can always do this by downloading the application separately. I have a full video on that. I'll leave a link in the description if you don't want to mess around with Fire Tool. But it just makes everything so much easier. I will leave the link for Fire Tool in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.